I'm Kathy Fosno. I was a professor for many years at City College of New York. I founded Mathematics in the City, a national center of in-service for math education. I'm the author of various books and articles on mathematics education, including the Context for Learning series from Heinemann. And I'm the senior um, content advisor with the academic team for Dream Box Learning. When children are constructing multiplication, they often start by needing to build a whole system of ones. So if the context is what's three times six, kids will count out six, count out another six, count out another six, make sure they have three groups, and to get the answer, they go all the way back and count from one again. Eventually, they begin to skip count and use repeated addition. And repeated addition usually builds into kids beginning to realize they can regroup groups. So something like 12 15s, kids will regroup the 15s, putting two together, and turn 12 15s into six 30s. So this is a developmental pathway to really support children to begin to move from just a system of ones to um, skip counting to a system of that's based on regrouping of groups that gets kids the doubling and halving. And that can build into the use of 10 times, which eventually builds into partial products. So in Dreambox, we built digital tools that would ensure that children would move along these developmental pathways. For example, we built a Dreambox tool that would be a digital array. We built a digital ratio table. We built a digital number line where we could show 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 um, as being equivalent to two 12s. And really building this whole foundation, one of the things that was really important to us in Dreambox was to ensure that we weren't just focusing on procedures, that we were really building the underlying foundation for algebra. One of the things we tried to do in Dreambox is build multiple tools that allow multiple ways into content. And some children um, choose one over another, like some better than others, do better with some than they do with others. And we also build repertoires that way of multiple ways to represent concepts. In many programs other than Dreambox, they may call themselves adaptive, but usually what they mean is you do this activity first, this sequence of activities or this unit, and when you finish it, if you've mastered it, you go to the next one. And if you, that next one is too hard for you, it puts you back in the one prior again and you repeat it or you repeat a variation on it. They call that adaptive. That's not intelligent adaption. That's not providing children with any kind of personalized program. That's just a feedback loop that is a linear pathway. What we tried to do in Dreambox is something quite different. We tried to develop multiple pathways with multiple tools to build multiple representations. This allows children to actually think they're choosing where they want to go in the environment, and in many ways they are. But we're also choosing which openings to provide. So a child maybe has three or four different games that are available to him or her, and these are now open. And depending on how a child does with one, the child may then choose to do another or new doors open. And there's always multiple games for children to play in multiple places to go in the environment.